Hi. Welcome back to another vlog. And it is Monday. And Mondays have actually become my shooting days. I am no longer doing admin work on Mondays. I feel the need to get to start the week out on a good foot and actually shoot content. I've got all of my makeup on for shooting. Let me come in close. I just wanted to show you guys because I was feeling very purple today. I was watching my friend Jody and also Colorful Camille and both of them use the Norvina 5 palette. They were almost like just a few videos apart um, in my feed and it really, really made me want to do a purple eye. So I pulled out my Norvina palette because I was feeling the purple, but I think I still want that Norvina 5 palette. I think that it is really, really pretty all of those purples just oh, so i don't know i'm still trying to decide whether or not i want to buy that but anywho it's going to be a busy day today is a shooting day as i mentioned i need to get everything sorted out behind me over there but as you can see i've got all of my nordstrom stuff i have got a ton of stuff from the nordstrom anniversary sale so this haul video that i'm shooting today which is going to be going up on wednesday the 21st is going to be massive and it's a kind of a warm day today so i've got to get cracking on getting all of that done plus i want to shoot a couple of reels and some stills for instagram so i've got a lot on my plate today but i do think i can be done by about 1 32 o'clock if i hurry up so it's about noon right now and I'm getting a little bit hungry, but I'm going to wait until after I'm done shooting. I've also straightened my hair today because I just needed to be quick with the hair. And I've got a hair appointment this weekend. And I think we're going to talk about what's next. Because in my, in my journey to gray, you know, I'm trying to kind of like get to black and silver. Um, it didn't quite make it, but we do have some really pretty light pieces in here. And so I think, um, Tasha, my stylist is going to kind of pull those out and then maybe, um, tone the rest of them down. And we're just going to go with that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm just writing this balayage out for the summer. And then once we get to the autumn, uh, I'm going to go ahead and probably start blending them in more. I am not quite ready to go gray i've discovered in this journey in the trouble that i've had trying to get to black and silver and i kind of knew that I, I you know in the back of my mind i think i was kind of like if i can't do this black and silver thing i'm just gonna go and cover the grays and uh, i'll go gray some other time <laughs> so i think that's where we are i apologize for not posting a vlog i had the thrifted look for less challenge on sunday and you know with all of the editing a video for you know the thrifted look for less plus the vlog for Sunday. I just, I couldn't. I think that on the days where I've got the thrifted look for less challenge, I may not post a vlog. I'm going to have to think about that and see if I can manage my time a little bit better. I am getting better at time management. I will say I am uh, feeling like I'm getting more accomplished on the days that I say I'm going to be accomplishing those things. It's still always a work in progress. So, so I decided to go ahead and show you the outfit of the day before I get started. I am wearing my little, um, eyelet lace almost, I guess it's like, I don't know, eyelet lace, eyelet top. Anyway, it's the one that I really, really love from um, H&M that I got with the little ruffles on the sleeves, the little tie front, which I always leave untied. And then the skirt, I am wearing my uh, full denim skirt that I got from Eloquy. I haven't worn this enough this summer, I think, so I figured I would bust it out today. And then finishing off the ensemble with my shoes. And these are my leather sandals from Zara that I absolutely love. These are super comfy and uh, I need to wear them more when I go out and about. But anyway, so jewelry I am wearing. Well, let me start out with the necklace. I am wearing my triple layer neck necklace from Kendra Scott. Um, sorry, a gratuitous boob shot there. Um, from Kendra Scott and it is a triple layered necklace. I got this from last year's anniversary sale. I thought it was fitting to wear since I am doing the uh, a Nordstrom anniversary sale haul today and then I am wearing these little chandelier earrings from Lana Jewelry that kind of mimic the way the necklace is falling. I think it looks all right. Um, and like I mentioned, the makeup is the Norvina palette on the eyes and on the lips I am wearing my, I'm wearing my NYX liquid lingerie liquid lipstick and it is in 
I don't remember the name, but I will have it listed in the description bar down below. I always do a nude liquid lip whenever I'm doing try-ons because it keeps everything kind of neutral. All right, so let me go ahead and I'm gonna set you on the tripod. Watch me unpack all my Nordstrom stuff for today's shoot. Done with the shooting for the day. I shot a bunch of stories and I've also shot my anniversary sale haul. The stories are all about the haul. I have got my haul uploading right now into my computer. Uh, I'm probably not going to start the editing until tomorrow. I think to this afternoon, I think I'm going to go downstairs and I need to work on writing up content for the Style Society. My membership personality type is what is coming next. So I am going to uh, prepare the content for that. While I'm waiting for this to upload, I'm going to watch some YouTube, I think, and um, continue working. I'm exhausted. Try-ons are like the hardest thing to do. And it got really hot in my room while I was doing it. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my stories and get those posted and get myself a bite to eat because I'm starving. So I'll talk with you guys later. Sunlight that always stays dinner by the waterway. It's that sweet life Raise your cross Made some do crack a smile Happy Thursday. It's been a couple of days since I vlogged. The last couple of days were mostly editing days. I was able to get my video out on Wednesday. I'm gonna be shooting some reels this morning and I've also got to clean my kitchen and I'm gonna do a little bit of cook with me with you I think today. I've got some cherries that are they are past their prime and I am going to use them to bake a, a tart, sort of, um, just like a summer dessert. Yeah, I'm not on keto anymore. Um, I decided that it just, I had had enough. I was, you know, it's like I said, keto is just not very sustainable for me. I don't really like doing keto a lot because I start to really, really just be unhappy and feel deprived and I don't want to do that. I'm cutting back on the carb some, and here I am talking about a cherry tart, but I need to use those cherries. It's going to be with a pre-made pie crust, of course, because I can't make pie crust. I'm not very good at that. My day is kind of divided into thirds. The first third is going to be shooting my reels. The second third is going to be cleaning my kitchen. The other third is going to be me editing. Oh, one of the other things I need to do today is I need to pack up all of the stuff that I'm returning from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Thank you everyone for all of the comments, the advice on the stuff that I bought. I'm returning a majority of it. Um, as it all panned out, the things that I'm keeping are the high ticket items and I can offset the cost of those by returning everything else. And I'm not really happy with a lot of the stuff that I got. The blank NYC moto jacket that's staying, the Tory Burch bag that is staying, and the Fendi sunglasses, those are staying, plus the Vince Camuto polka dot top. Those are the things that I'm keeping. Everything else is gonna go back. I don't know, I just don't feel like making it work. The one regret I think I might have is the Avec La Fille faux leather trench coat. The size of that belt is just really weird to me. I'm trying to talk myself out of keeping it, is what it is, let's just be honest. I just don't feel that I need that coat and especially because it's not made in the way that I would want my trench coat to be made. Let me um, shut up and have you guys uh, hang out while I get my room ready. What I am wearing right now is not my outfit of the day. This is just something I'm wearing around the house until I do get dressed. And uh, I'm probably gonna end up wearing my black scoop sweater dress, which is what's gonna be in the real in some form of fashion. I'm living that high life. Time to catch a flight, but you can make me go. Unlocking all the memories of my new home. Ventilated echoes playing to and fro. Back and forth, yeah. Caught some kids dancing in the alleyway. Crazy how that was fun. That was fun. I think I'm gonna really, really like this reel. I am wearing my chambray shirt as usual. I love this thing. Um, and I am wearing my sweater dress from 
scoop for Walmart underneath it. I think I've done this look before for you guys, but it's one that is like a true fallback. Um, super comfortable wearing my Sam Edelman loafer mules from last year. Going for kind of a Thursday casual look. And because um, this is one of my favorites, likely I'll end up untying this at some point today and just wear this as a jacket, but it's getting a bit warm, so I might actually peel it off when I do my cooking and stuff. My hair is a sad mess. I have a hair appointment on Saturday. I cannot wait, but for jewelry, I'm going bold with my gold hoop earrings and my bold chunky chain jewelry or chain necklace, I should say, from the Express. Matches the hardware on the shoes. And uh, yeah, so um, that's it. That's my outfit for the day. Now what's on deck? I'm gonna go downstairs. I need to get to cleaning and uh, editing. The makeup, by the way, went with another purple eye. It's pretty similar to what I did the other day. I've just been feeling it. I'm, I want the Norvina 5 palette. And so I've been playing with purple a little bit kind of to decide do I really, really want that. It's got such beautiful shades of purple and I don't have a palette like that in my collection. And I went with a nude lip. If you want to know what lip it is, same, the, same as the other day, but let me show you. It is the NYX Liquid Suede and the color is Soft Spoken. Soft Spoken. I love this nude shade. I need to get myself another one as a backup because it is like the perfect nude for me. This is the first plum from our plum tree. It is so juicy. Oh my God. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. I love growing my own fruits and vegetables. I never knew I would love it this much. Okay, so I am taking you out here to come and look at the pumpkins. They are doing fantastic. They're starting to vine up. And yeah, so excited. They started out tiny and they're huge now. And there's the other one. So we're super excited. Hopefully we'll get some pumpkins this year. I think we might have a couple of little blossoms happening. It's so funny how much I've grown to love, you know, like having my own produce and things like that. Now, here is the bird bath with the strawberries, but the strawberries get eaten by the birds and we're okay with that since it is on a bird bath. Um, it's like grown so much. I guess she didn't really like being in full, full sun. Let's rotate her a little bit. I wanted to show you this tool. You saw me using it the other day. It's so cool. It's called Grandpa's Weeding Tool or something like that. And it's awesome for picking dandelions. Yep. The root. Yeah, you get the root and everything if you're lucky. It's so satisfying. It's like really bizarre. It's like mesmerizing. But anyway, yep, totally understand that we are pockmarking our backyard, but the intent is to bring topsoil next year. So we need to get rid of the dandelions before we do that. And we had a bit of an infestation going. Well, I think next year, I want to expand into more veggies. Um, I think we're going to be running a little bit of an experiment. We've got all these cherries and I'm going to make that cherry tart today, by the way. I'm going to save all the pits from those cherries and we're going to do an experiment. We looked it up on YouTube yesterday, how to germinate cherry seeds. We're going to try our hand at germinating some cherry trees because I think that we could easily do a tree on this side of the yard. But we have other plans as well. We are talking about... Um, redoing our floors we're just trying to figure out the timing as to when that will happen but it's definitely going to happen we're redoing the floors and in, in the downstairs right now we have carpet it's a mess it wasn't installed properly and so it's like wrinkling in spots and we just 
we need to get wood floors. So over the next few months, we're going to be decluttering and really doing a deep cleaning of the rooms downstairs um, so that that way we can bring our contractor in and ask them how much it's, you know, what the estimate is going to be for redoing the floors. And I want him to move all the stuff too. I don't want to have to deal with that. I want him to handle getting all the furniture out and getting all the furniture back in. So um, those are kind of things that we're thinking about or planning for. The floors probably won't happen until end of this year, or maybe beginning of next year. I'm not sure if I want to have a big project like flooring done during the holidays. I would like to have it done before the holidays, but I don't think we're going to be ready for that. And I don't think our contracts of, contractor's availability is there for that. So um, probably in the early part of next year. And I will take you along for the ride because I love the idea of having wood floors. We've wanted wood floors since we moved here and I want to take you guys along in the process. So that's coming, but that's not until another six months or so. Actually, no, more like four, four or five months. Um, and uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm just rambling. I will talk with you guys again here in a little bit. I've been working outside all day today. It has been fabulous. Um, I'm almost done with the editing. I really, really, really want to get inside and cooking up that cherry tart for you guys, uh, for us. <laughs> um, anyway, I want to go ahead and go in and uh, bake that cherry tart. I think we're going to do hamburgers tonight. I'm not 100% sure, but the cherry tart for sure is happening. So I think I'm going to take a little bit of a breather for a few minutes and then I'll bring you guys inside and we will start work on the tart. Can't wait, it's gonna be so good. Okay, so I am currently in the middle of making a cherry tart. I didn't realize that I didn't have battery, so I haven't been showing what I've been doing. So let me show you. I have been cutting up some cherries. I'm saving all of the pits to both the dark cherry, the regular red cherry, and the Rainier cherry. And then I'm halfway through my cherries. I'm working on getting a half, uh, three cups of cherries. adding some lemon zest it's gonna give it a really nice brightness I love adding lemon zest to things I think it's so good and the essential oils of the lemon are really really good for you you know you're getting like the purest form of the lemon the purest form of that fabulous bounty of vitamin C and it's wonderful lemon is my one of my most favorite things I think that a kitchen without lemons is not a complete kitchen. Generally what I'm doing is I'm macerating the fruit. So I'm gonna add a little bit of sugar. This is a half a cup. And then a splash of vanilla. I'm not gonna bother measuring it. Just eyeball it, you know, whatever you like. So a splash of vanilla, about a teaspoon. And then um, two tablespoons of flour. And this is a, this is one of those odd measure, measuring spoons. Uh, it is already two tablespoons. Essentially what you're doing is you're drawing out the juices. You're mixing it with the flour so that that way it thickens up the fruit with their natural juices. Um, not just right now while we wait, but also while it's cooking that will happen. So just give it a good stir. Make sure you coat all of those cherries with the flour and the sugar. And these are already so juicy as it is, it's not gonna take them long at all to juice up. I'm just gonna let that sit while I get the crust ready. I'm using a ready-made pie crust. I'm not going to make my own. Don't have that kind of time. And you really don't need to. I mean, these pie crusts that you can get at the store these days are just as good, I think. I'm grabbing my Silpat, which is a non-stick pad that you can put down on your pans. I had this for like so long, over 10 years. And I use it anytime I'm gonna make any kind of anything that's gonna possibly stick, like cookies or something like that. Um, 
I would rather use the silk hat because it's going to help eliminate the mess. You can also use parchment paper. I don't have any. Right now the silk hat is all that I have. So I'm ready to put the filling into the gullet. Leave a border. You want to get all of those fabulous, fabulous juices. I hate it when I watch Food Network and they leave stuff in the bowl. That just really bugs me. So we've got our little pile of cherries here. And then you just want to fold this over and crimp it as you go. So that that way it forms its own little container. And it will produce fabulous goodness for you. Now I think I am going to do an egg wash. I wasn't going to, but I think I'm going to. So hang on. An egg and a fork. Break the egg with a little bit of water in it. Give it a quick eat. I'm gonna take, and I'm just gonna brush that with the egg wash. I'm gonna give that a bit of an egg wash. And that way it browns beautifully. And also, that way our little bits of turbinado sugar stick really well. <coughs> Which I like using turbinado sugar um, because it's just, a, it's got a really lovely little sweet crunch to it. And uh, I think it just adds a lovely texture to the rusticness of this galette or tart or whatever you want to call it. Now I think we're ready to pop this in the oven and let me give you a glimpse of what it looks like. Oven, it's got to bake for 30 minutes now and uh, so yeah. I can't wait, it's gonna be fantastic.